guys, we're here with the brand new Z06. And uh, I got to drive it a little bit, but I'm gonna actually ask the owner what he thinks since he's had a lot more seat time in it. He's driven it 621 miles. Um, super nice car. The interior is really nice too. It's, uh, but uh, so what did you think? What do you think about after driving it for 621 miles now? What's your thoughts on it? What's up, Jay? Welcome to the Steel Ankles YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm really impressed with the car. Um, first, want to give a shout out to Sir Walter. I was on a list when they had the Z06 tour with the red Z07 car. Um, they were taking deposits. I thought five grand was a little much, but then at the same time, I didn't think a lot of people were gonna um, put a deposit down. Uh, 11 months later, I got a call just after Christmas and I thought they were gonna tell me they couldn't get me a car, uh, but they called me to say, hey, we have one and we have one in Amplify Orange and they went through the options. I didn't really care what options it had. I was gonna take it anyway. So it's a, it's a base Z06, um, 3LZ. Uh, the only options are Amplify Orange and the uh, yellow brake calipers, which I think are pretty cool. Probably would have been similar to the way I expected if I wasn't doing the Z07 package, which is uh, currently on constraint. Um, really impressed with the looks of the car. It looks a lot more aggressive than a base C8. Um, nothing against that car. It just didn't do much for me uh, unless you had one that was lowered on rims and all that, which can look sharp. Uh, but this car right away looked aggressive. Um, the Amplify Orange was a lot more pastel and had more yellow in it than, um, than I thought it would. And, and I don't hate it for that. I think it looks great. Um, I love the Crush Orange on JZL1. Um, technology on the car is really impressive. Uh, has uh, wireless Android Auto, um, wireless uh, charging. The, the different modes that the car has from tour to sport to track uh, are significantly different uh, one to the next where I don't understand some of the reviews I saw with it where that where they thought the car was too harsh uh, I think it rides almost too soft in the tour setting and I normally drive around in, in the sport mode just for the shifting and how uh, it's a little more aggressive. Um, I do think that the track mode is a little too aggressive for the street. It bounces around a little bit. It holds, holds the revs at four or 5,000 RPM. Um, you know, the heads up display can change. Uh, it's highly customizable, um, all the different settings on the car. Um, with the 3LZ package, as you guys know, has um, heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, uh, carbon fiber steering wheel um, as far as driving impressions uh, I it, it's it's very similar to how I thought it would drive being uh, naturally aspirated flat plane crank um, I did have a GT 350R so I kind of anticipated how this car would drive um, also had a GT3 prior to this car so it has similar characteristics and uh, someone coming from a ZL1 or uh, a supercharged or turbocharged vehicle, they, they may be a little disappointed in the car for the street, but I bought this to track. Uh, and I think it's gonna do amazing. Um, and I'm interested to see how it does in a couple weeks. Yep, it's gonna be good. We'll have them both out there on the track. It's, uh, you know, the, the, I, do, I definitely agree with the track shifting. It's definitely a, uh, it's very aggressive for street driving. But how about the ride quality? Would you say that's pretty good? I think it's amazing uh, yeah. the fact that you can change it from tour to, to track and the amount of change from the different settings to me is very impressive. I have a number of vehicles that have that same option in other BMWs uh, in the M cars and that has some change to the transmission and brakes and steering but um, I think the, the change from tour to track is, is, is phenomenal. It's, it's like having two different cars. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, can you pop your uh, frunk so you can show everybody the, the frunk in this thing? Uh, and for 2024 cars, it has a soft closed frunk, uh, which I'm jealous of because this one does not have that. We can get it popped here. Got a nice amount of storage room up front. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then it also has a real tr trunk also, right? So most people don't realize there's a frunk and a trunk in this thing. 
So the rear has the soft clothes, which I like, which is great. Uh, what I really like also about the car, it does have remote start, which is excellent. However, if you try to pop the trunk, when you do the remote start, it will cut off the car. So. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that. Car has a uh, mag ride, which uh, is awesome. Um, really impressed with, uh, with the ride quality and how you can change it. Um, it's a ton of room front and rear, so I think it's a very practical car. It is the loudest car, stock car that I've ever owned. Um, it's pretty hilarious when I'm leaving, uh, say, a restaurant or the gym and I do the remote start. It just booms, it echoes, it's, it's pretty awesome. Um, I like the fact that it has the remote start because I try to warm up the motor um, before uh, before driving the car. And uh, talking about track, what's what's pretty cool? I just posted this on. It looks like the lightning lap was done last October November time frame. So I was interested to see what the the lap times for the Z06 Z07 were going to be, considering the 755 horsepower ZR1. Um, the, the Z07 does have the better tires, but um, as car and driver does it, uh, they test the cars with the most performance options from factory. So if you didn't put Cup 2R tires on the car, that's on the, the manufacturer. And if they didn't have them when the car was released, that's tough luck. But uh, pretty surprised the fact that it did a 238.6 uh, VIR uh, Grand and uh, the 2019 ZR1 did a 239.5, so almost a full second quicker. Uh, and that, that I think, is, has a lot to do with how the power is made. Uh, it doesn't have as much torque. You can get into it. Uh, if you can't put the power down, you're just going to spin tires, which is easily easy to do in the ZL1 or even the ZR1. So um, I think uh, it's going to be pretty great exiting turns in the car and interested to see how the car is going to handle. Uh, it took me uh, probably a good four to five track days to learn how to drive a GT3 uh, just because of the weight bias and you really had to throw the car into a turn and trail brake. So I'm anticipating this car is going to have similar characteristics to that. So yeah, I think it's going to be a uh... I think this compare. I drove the, Z, the ZR1, the 2019, and I've driven this, and the, the ZR1 is much harder to handle. I think the CG is so much lower on this car, it's going to be easier to handle it, but the question is what's going to happen when, the, when, you, when we run VIR full and we get those long straights. You know, will it, will it be faster uh, than the ZR1? I, I don't know. I think that's shoes to fill, but I think the handling and the confidence in this car is definitely way better than that ZR1. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, I, I agree with that. That's that's true. I think uh, the ZR1, and I posted this on the Corvette forum yesterday when they were talking about lightning lightning lap times. Uh, I posted I do think the ZR1 would beat uh, the Z06, Z07 uh, in the full configuration at VIR pretty easily just because there's more straightaways. Yeah. Take advantage of the back straight, the front straight, the uphill S's. Um, and then uh, the interesting thing is uh, with this car, um, I believe over the Z07 package, obviously it has the lower, um, it has the, the rear spoiler. There's a couple of different configurations that you, that you can change out the, the rear uh, on it. And I believe it has a 10, it's, uh, the, Z, the Z07 I believe is 10 or 15% stiffer. So I don't, the, obviously the aerodynamics are gonna be better. There's some, on, um, on the undercarriage of the car, there's some, some things that are done for the Z07, but I'm interested to see what this car does. I uh, already have a set of forge lines for it, uh, some Hoosiers, so we are going to go to battle here in a couple weeks at VFR. <laughs> yep, it's going to be good. I can't wait. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.